Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here. We are in South Dakota, somewhere We're on I-90 uh, between Plankinton or Plankton, Plankinton and uh, White Lake. So yeah, somewhere between Mitchell and the hell's even west of here? Uh, Rapid City? Sturgis, maybe? Anywho, um, stopped at a rest area. We got a halal chicken stew. I believe this is a 2021, judging by the date. It's 2021 or 2022. Um, did a trade with my man Chris Reedy out in the border of Illinois and Indiana. Forget which side of the border you're on. You're on I-74, I know that. Um, yeah, traded for, uh, where did I send you? Uh, one of those pink rations. Um, yeah, anyway, we are gonna crack into this. Look how vacuum sealed this is. It's the tightest one I've ever seen. Very nice. There was actually a hiss when I opened this. So right away we got our halal chicken stew and our card. That's a truck going by. We're gonna get that in the FRH right away. Humanitarian daily ration. That's what that thing's called. We're gonna do this in real time because I bet you this is gonna take off like a bastard. Drink of water. Okay, maybe not like a bastard, but that got hot quick, probably uh, about 30 seconds. Two desserts in this one, a little chocolate pudding, as well as an oatmeal cookie. We also got two snacks, cranberries, salted peanuts, and we got our orange beverage base and our accessory pack. Um, two packs of sugar, wet nap, toilet paper, spoon, regular napkin, a pack of white tip matches. Get into our peanuts. And they look like that. They smell just like peanuts. They're salted. I'm gonna leave them in the pack because I'm not eating all of this right now. We're gonna kind of eat most of this going down the road. Try them out though. And those are awesome. I wouldn't care if I got these in every ration, salted or not, I don't give a shit. Um, just love me some peanuts. So same thing with the cranberries. We'll just uh, try and get a look at them here. It's awkward. They look like that. Or like that. And those are good too. Um, I don't know, people don't like the cranberries. I'd take them over the raisins any day. Uh, they're less greasy, more flavor. Cranberries are good. Look at this. We thank you for your service. I've never noticed that on the uh, any pack of anything, to be honest. Sterling Food, San Antonio, Texas. This one's busted up a little bit. Yeah, those are always a hit. Um, I actually, this one's way better than the ones that uh, we've been getting in the humanitarian rations. They're a little darker and they're a little crispier. Uh, these ones are just a little easier to eat. Maybe more crumbly, but uh, whatever. Yeah, we just had a little accident. All good. Then <laughs> take our chocolate pudding, get that onto our tray. Yeah.
we can't afford an accident now, now that the pudding's on the, on the tray, because it would be a big, ugly mess. The people at the rest area wouldn't believe me if I told them what happened, so. So there that is, chocolate pudding, or oatmeal cookie. Um, yeah, I already decided I was using a fork for the stew, which probably isn't even the best thing to use for a stew, let alone pudding. Um, but I kind of committed to this, so here we go. Yeah. That's the best chocolate pudding you can get out of a ration. Caffeinated being second, and um, the protein pudding, didn't like that. However, if you go with the pudding dessert powder stuff, then that beats this. This is why I love halal rations. Now we gotta try this, because, well it doesn't really work, but you have to. So all that did was took away the flavor of the cookie. Um, it basically made it taste like the chocolate pudding with the crunch of the oatmeal cookie. I love the flavor of the cookie, so maybe don't do that. But on their own, each one of these is awesome. We're gonna go ahead and wash that down with our orange drink. I love orange and finally I'm out of my grape rut and we're finally getting orange again. So we got our uh, <clears throat> our halal chicken stew. I'm excited for this. Chicken stew, one of my favorite things in life, probably. Um, it's very, very runny feeling though. Bit of a casualty, but none got on my shirt. It's freaking hot. Like, oh, for fuck's sakes. I don't even have a garbage bag ready for this. Uh, be right back. So here we got it. <clears throat> we got corn, tomatoes, chunks of chicken, something green. Smells good. Does not smell like it's a tomato sauce. It's not a, you know, chicken gravy kind of stew. Get a little bit of every color. Give her a try. You've got a little bit of onion matter in that. So this is awesome. <clears throat> it's not what I traditionally call, traditionally call a chicken stew. Um, what that is, 100%, Mexican style chicken stew. That's the exact same main, zero difference whatsoever. Um, do I just always have this sitting beside me in my truck? No, I've had this menu before and I was so disappointed the first time, <clears throat> sort of, because I do love this menu, it's one of my favorites, but uh, I was really hoping just for like a, you know, like the way the beef stew is an actual beef stew, I was hoping it would be like that with chicken. Um, but it's not but still hell of an awesome uh, meal um great menu oatmeal cookie pudding yes peanuts cranberries yes orange drink nothing nothing about this menu is bad halal menus are great if you see a case get it if you don't see a case let me know i can tell you where to get a case um, and they're crazy fresh. But thanks again, Mr. Chris Reedy out in Illinois, Indiana. Um, shit, man, we've been friends for probably three, four years now, it seems. Uh, zero drama, dude. He just, he's great. We don't talk every day. We sometimes go months without talking and then we'll chat for a, you know, a good long while. But uh, he's busy, I'm busy. We get that great dude. Um, <clears throat> not sure if he's ever gonna do reviews or not, but uh, if he does, I'll let you guys know. 
Anywho, thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you next time.